Good evening ladies and gentlemen, GoatBoy8 here, bringing you some more highlights from some of my gameplay footage on Star Wars Battlefront, just for you. So basically I think we're starting off with uh, the DLC footage I was playing from the Outer Rim. Uh, I believe this is Jabba's Palace and we're just playing a game of cargo. It's essentially capture the flag, except there's like mm, a stockpile of flags really. So it's not just one flag per team that you've got to catch, it's there's a bunch of cargo and the person who steals most of it and has most at the end uh, wins. So you're always struggling, you always start off with five each and then you've got to kind of steal and you defend at the same time. As you can tell, what I'm really good at at the minute is shooting thin air and getting shot at in the face like a pro. But uh, yeah, here's some first person footage. There you go, one of the guys has got the cargo, just got to stick with him and the rest of the team. Our cargo has been returned. Yeah, always checking the flank just in case. And hop, hop, hobbity hop. Boom, got a point. Brought it back up to 5-5. Five, five. Got him. Yes, got his pal. There you go. Uh, doing a little bit of a scan. No one around. That's always a good sign. Imperial forces returned their cargo. I kind of panicked a little bit there. You can tell I shot everything except the guy. Yeah, just being a bit cautious. Checking down the scope. just grenades everywhere. <laughs> the only reason that guy ran in front of me instead of turning around and uh, catching me is because of the trade card I just saw. I just leveled up but I just nearly blew myself up my own grenade. <laughs> that's, that's it, there you go. This is exactly why I call this video pew 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 boom. That's all I remember from these matches. Particularly here with the grenades as well. Let's just take a closer look at this bit. Jetpack's out of the way, gets behind the fountain. One grenade out. Thermal detonate takes a while. High impact to get his buddy who was shooting at me. Just as I get a kill, that guy snipes me. See what I mean? Pew 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 boom! That was it. Pew 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 boom! It was just like a constant rhythm with this match. And here we go, heavy blaster. That's it, where they're gonna go. There you go, got one. I know there's a whole bunch of them. Uh. <laughs> pew pew pew, one grenade. Pew pew pew, three grenades. Dead as a doornail. <laughs> At this point I was like, I, I'm sick and tired of being blown up, that is it. I'm gonna just crouch. And then about halfway through crouching through an entire level I realised I've got a scout card, my sprinting doesn't show up on scanners. And it's perfect because there you go, I catch it, I catch it. I think the Imperials are winning, uh, yeah, there you are. They're winning by one, so I've got to try and level out the score. There you go, brought about a 5 5 again. So. <sighs> More grenades. I do like this map. A lot of tight corridors and a lot of uh, fighting spaces. Huge chances for. Uh, playing around. There you go. Yes. Yes. Get them back with their own medicine. It's about time I blew one of them up, eh? The amount of grenade overkill in this match is hilarious. That guy, again, didn't see me. It's, uh, if you guys play this, it's my personal favourite trait card and that's kind of like uh, your, your buff system in this. My trade card essentially makes me invisible on the map because you're always using the map to get a rough idea of where the enemy are. And there you go. As you can see, I'm sneaking around. I threw up an explosion. Cargo in possession. So everyone's looking one direction. I pick up the enemy's cargo. 
and I run like Benny Hill straight to the end. Here we go. And we're at the base. <laughs> I nearly got shot on the arse on the way back. Here we go. There you are. Handed back. Get a kill. Level up. And get a victory. Not a bad match. Had a lot of fun with that. The other match that I find uh, as tense as that is Droid Run. Very similar. You're fighting up to the last second for dominance a lot of the time. Uh, to get control of the droids. And same with that one. You're, you're fighting up to the last second. Like I showed you there. Of, of getting the package and making a, making a dash to the end. Uh, and I'm just so glad I caught that on film for you guys. I mean that was on my live stream on my Twitch channel as well. Which again is uh, Goat Boy Awake on Twitch. And you can see my highlights there. I've put up a couple of streams already. Now that I actually remember to, uh, you know, archive my videos so you guys can look back at your own time and your own leisure. Oh, here we go. This is uh, a different match. This is Heroes vs. Villains on Endor. Just as a rebel again at the moment. I've been putting up a few videos of me as the Imperials. So it's kind of nice to see them as the good guys for a change. But that's it. Straight through the squad shield, which is like a bubble of protection. You can't shoot through it, whether you're inside of it or outside of it. But the Emperor's personal guard I managed to uh, sneak a shot at the back of his head. And I'm good old cloth ears. I'm uh, near Noom. Now, at the time of recording this, I'd only just bought the DLC. So, Greedo and the Enuma are new heroes to the uh, Outer Rim DLC that comes with the game. Which is available now. But I had no idea how to play with them. So, I'm just kind of going through this by trial and error. As you can see, he's running around going, okay, green gas, bad idea. There's Greedo. I've run straight past Greedo. I absolutely didn't recognise him. Trying to get in a bit of a gun battle in, but Greedo gets the upper hand on me. So here we go. I try it again. Another round. Let's try again. I'm near Noom again. And I think you can see me on, on this bit. Uh, all of the footage may be a little bit shorter. You see me get a little bit better with him, so... Here you go. It's this part of the map. There's the choke point. He's you know, got three powers. His bottom left one there, which looks like a Pokeball from here. Uh, it's actually like a, a plasma rifle, so it's a sniper rifle that does a charged shot. The middle is an infantry cannon, which I really should have put down for Boba out right there. And then the right is a proximity bomb, so basically, you know, uh, a landmine. There you go, see him getting the kills. Endor is, is, is my home, apparently. That is it. I'm so used to it. I know the terrain. I'm just clocking in the kill count. Orbital strike, which is getting out of there. Very fast, very easy to use. A good defensive player, and you can put down traps. Our spies are telling us the just thought I'd give you a quick highlight of that, because I thought, yes! I managed to use one of the new heroes without destroying myself. All my kill-death ratio, all my statistics, or being an idiot. Like I was right there opening a door to get shot at in the face. <laughs> I remember that made me laugh. I was like, that's absolutely typical. That's, that's just the type of thing I do. But here you go. I'm just playing a different map. It's, uh, again, one of the new maps on the Outer Rim DLC. It's, um, it's a mining facility. It's really moody. It's got huge outdoor staging areas with uh, about two to three levels so you can get some good sniping positions and good cover, as well as tight corridors and an underground network of tunnels as well. So it gives you a load of really good staging arenas for like one-on-one -on -one matches, objective gameplay, uh, deathmatch, teamwork. And you've got to really be on your toes because no matter what position happens, something like that can happen. A guy can sneak up on you and take you out. Oof. Oh yes, that was cool. Kill, nearly dead. Jetpack over, another kill. And then recover the health. 
That's that's a good moment. That is what you call acting cool and calm under pressure. <laughs> what was that? Two shots? Two shots with a shotgun? What was that? The CA-87? Search of the shotgun in the game. I don't even know where that guy came from. There you go, same tunnel again. Getting a couple more kills. I don't know what's going on. I can't even remember what game mode this is. It's extraction, I think, which is a bit like... Uh, uh, push the cart. But there you go. Justice is served. I shoot someone in the back of the head, they shoot me in the back of the head. Anyway, that's Goat Boy out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next stream.